Californians living in high fire danger areas are facing an insurance crisis. Yeah, the companies are dropping them from their homeowners' policies or dramatically raising their rates. CBS News investigator Christine Lavar Lazar is with us now to tell us what's being done to try to protect the homeowners. Mm -hmm. Well, a lot of people think not enough is being done, and consumer groups say that something needs to be done now. The insurance commissioner has said that if there aren't new regulations put into place, these communities will unravel. Over the summer, Gail Ma got an unexpected letter in the mail. Her insurer, Lexington, was dropping their policy on her Calabasas home. Gail was evacuated last year during the Woolsey fire. So I had to hurry up and find, try to find new insurance. Gail says all but one company refused to cover her home. Three different agents found the same insurance company, Scottsdale, um, was the only one that would insure the house and they wanted $28,000 a year. Gail's only alternative was the California Fair Plan, last resort insurance for high-risk homeowners. The plan only insures up to 1.5 million, leaving Gail and her family underinsured. I'm told by every insurance company that it's at least 2.2 million to rebuild this house. Teresa Leone lives in Woodland Hills and wasn't even in an evacuation zone last year, but she got a non-renewal letter from AAA. And they showed me that they had used Google pictures to take aerial photographs of my house. Telling her they wouldn't insure her with mature trees hanging over her roof, trees that have been there since before she moved in. They just don't want to insure in certain areas. That's what I think. According to the Department of Insurance, the zip codes affected by the 2015 and 2017 wildfires saw a 10% increase in non-renewals last year. That amounts to nearly 35,000 homeowners in LA County and nearly 3,500 in Ventura County. We call it cherry picking. The insurance companies want to insure everybody remarkably who's in the middle of a city where there's no fire. They don't want to insure people who live in the hills. Jamie Cord is the president of Consumer Watchdog. The nonprofit sent a sternly worded letter to the insurance commissioner last month. We believe that there's a lot the insurance commissioner can do now to prevent discrimination against people in the high fire risk communities just with his own regulatory powers. California homeowners aren't just facing non-renewals. Some are seeing their rates double, even triple from the year prior. Jill Hurwitz got her renewal from Chubb last month. And I open it and it says 208% wildfire increase in the policy. Hurwitz has lived in her Calabasas home for 24 years. She's a single working mom. I'm paying almost $7,000 with homeowners and earthquake insurance. And I'm like, what am I gonna do? Her broker had an idea. You may wanna consider downsizing and selling your house. I'm like, okay, that is crazy. Now, in a statement to us, Commissioner Ricardo Lara said he has been leading the effort in addressing this issue, but that the law doesn't allow him to just simply stop those non-renewals. As for insurance companies, while the industry says they've had to drop people and raise rates because they lost billions due to the wildfires. Critics, of course, say those insurance companies are still making lots of money and this is mm -hmm. not necessary. Critics also say what we really should be doing is, you know, saying to these people who live in the high fire areas, similar to what we do, like with driving discounts, like if you're a right. good driver, mm -hmm. right. if you're clearing the brush, if you're taking steps to make your house fire safe, mm -hmm. then we won't drop you or we won't raise your rates. And they're so not that, doing that. But that, that. But no, requires sending that. people out to the house to inspect and that costs money to do as well. Of course, but mm -hmm. they're saying that would be the fair thing to do, that you can't just drop people simply because of where they live or what right. their zip code is. Yeah, people work hard for their homes. Mm -hmm. All right, Christine, thank you so much. Mm -hmm. Can Two on Your Side help you? Email Two on Your Side at CBS.com and tell us about your problem or tweet us using the hashtag Two on Your Side. And Christine, we'll see what we can do 